Hi, old Sneelock here. I've got a can that I want to use for gas, but it has a hole in the bottom. I'm going to use an old-fashioned method to seal this hole. I'm going to solder it. I'm going to be using the soft solder process with 60-40 solder. First thing that needs to be done, you have to clean the area to get, so you have a good chemical bond between the solder and the steel. This is a pretty good size hole in this tank, so I'm going to use a tin patch to cover it. I'm using the top of an olive can. I'm just going to trim it out and make it about a half inch bigger than the hole on each side. So in this case, about an inch and a quarter. And then I'm going to clean it up and solder it on. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to tin the uh, plate that I'm using as a patch. The tinning puts a thin coat of solder, just lead and tin mixed together on the surface. And this is OD lead free tinning flux used with lead free solder. It's really, it's the same amount, of, it's the same stuff. Whether you're using the Ruby chemical soldering paste or this lead free tinning flux. It's an acid that works when it gets hot. The idea is to chemically clean the surface so that the solder will bond with it. I'm going to tin the surface here, the area where I'm going to patch, and I'm also going to tin the little patch. The reason I'm using the lead-free tinning flux because it's the oldest can 
and I'm going to get rid of it first before I use up this. And this is acid core solder. I could use solid solder, but I just don't happen to have any right now. So the idea is get those two sitting there so when I'm heating the one I'm heating the other also. Once the joint is filled with solder, then you have to wait for it to cool. You can tell when it's cool because it turns from a shiny silver color to a dull silver. In this particular case, it took about five minutes. And that's all there is to it.
Wire brushing takes off the scale left by the flux. Now this was a water can, it wasn't a fuel can, so I was able to solder it back up. Wouldn't use it for drinking water. I'm going to use it for gasoline. If it had had gasoline in it before I tried to solder it, I would have just thrown it out. Because any can that has gas in it is always going to have a little bit of the gas left inside of it. When you heat it up like that, it's going to pop and sometimes it's just a little puff and sometimes it's a boom that splits the whole can open. So you really don't want to do this on a can that's already been used for fuel. Another project off the list. I'm going to give you a little job. Don't forget to click like.